In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use actions in Photoshop to improve your workflow and save you time instead of going back and creating alphas. Or you can always create your own actions so every time you create a cutout and bring it back in, the action automatically works for you. So in Photoshop, I'm going to go over to my actions menu and I've created an alpha channel which is going to be an action for us. So what I want to do here is go down into my actions palette and hit the play button. And what this is going to do is temporarily shut down Photoshop, bring up our plugin Virtus. This is allowing us not to even go through the stage of the pull down menu for the filter. It's automatically bringing it up for us, saving us more time. And as the image renders up really quickly, you'll notice that we've got our nice blue edges out here on the outside, finding the edges for us. I'm going to use my second red brush, which is my delete local brush, and take out the background first. Notice it snaps that right to the next edge or the next segment of the blue line here. Our second step is going and doing our image autofill with keep, generating our keep mask. Green is our keep, red is our delete. I'm going to go down here on the very bottom and I'm going to go and turn off these object edges. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my blue blend tool located underneath your red pens to knock out the background between the hair. So with the blend exact tool selected, I'm just going to go ahead and paint over the hair. Just going right around the outside, getting all the white out of the background. right along the side of her face here and maybe that little spot there. And I'm going to go ahead and make this cutout and I can use the two icon down here with the little arrow and the two little guys here. And I'm going to create that cutout. And there's our background cutout very quickly showing you how to extract out hair. Now if I do a file save and apply you'll notice when it brings it back into Photoshop if you look at your layer menu it's already going to have your alpha channel made for you automatically due to creating an action in Photoshop. So if I go into my channel menu, go to my layer mask zero, turn off my RGB, there is my alpha channel. 